Hello friends welcome to transformation of sentences class 2 and the topic of this video is remove to when we we remove to we not only remove t o to but also t o to and we use so that in the sentence let's first see what t o to means and what is it to is adverb of degree it means very extremely beyond limit etc it describes the degree of adverb or adjective let's see two sentences to make this clear it is too cold the watch is too expensive when we say it is too cold we mean it is extremely cold we are describing degree of coldness and when we say watch is too expensive we mean the watch is very expensive let's now have a look at examples when we remove to and the changes which we have to make in the sentences first sentence is i am too tired to walk it means i am so tired that i cannot walk that means if the sentence is affirmative it does not contain anything negative we are changing it to negative i am so tired that i cannot walk we have to remove both tos from the sentence t o t and t o t t o t will be replaced by so and t o t the infinitive to walk is an infinitive that will be replaced by that plus subject plus cannot or could not that will be common in all sentences subject and cannot will change according to sentence so answer to our sentence i am too tired to walk is i am so tired that i cannot walk t o t is replaced by so t o t is replaced by that plus subject here is i so that remains i and cannot we are using for two reasons first sentence is in present tense i am indicates it is a present tense so with present tense we will be using cannot also affirmative sentences will take negative form let us change subject of the sentence from i am to he is and see what the change in answer takes place so the answer will be he is so tired that he cannot walk let us take another example posha was too intelligent to be defeated here the sentence is in past tense was indicates it is in past tense and subject is posha let's see how it is to be done the sentence will be posha was so intelligent that she couldn't be defeated we have used so in place of t o t and in place of t o t that she couldn't subject in the transform sentence occurs twice he she can be written twice but since porsha is a name and it is a name of girl so first time we will write it as a porsha and next time when we write it it will be she and since the sentence is in past tense we will not use cannot but we will use could not next example he is too honest to accept a bribe subject of the sentence is he so we can use that twice is indicates sentence is in present tense our answer is he is so honest that he cannot or will not accept a bribe since the sentence is in present tense ideally we should write cannot will not will show his unwillingness to accept a bribe you will notice that when we remove to the sentence is also transforming from affirmative to negative let us now take a sentence which is already negative we'll take negative form of the same sentence and change it to affirmative so the new sentence is he is too dishonest not to accept a bribe that means he is so dishonest that he will or can accept the bribe so transformation here is not only remove to but also we have changed sentence from negative to affirmative let's take few more examples the problem was too difficult for him to solve and the answer is the problem was so difficult that he could not solve it the changes which we have made are so in place of t o t three words that he could not in place of t o t 
that is common in all sentences subject he we have used in place of for him and could not we have to use when the sentence is in past tense if it is in present tense we use cannot next sentence he is too short to be a soldier and the answer is he is so short that he cannot be a soldier sentence is in present tense so cannot subject is he so in both places we can use he next sentence she is too smart not to see through your tricks the sentence is negative it will change to affirmative sentence not see through your tricks will change to will or can see through your tricks and the answer is she is so smart that she can see through your tricks so you will notice instead of cannot we have used can next example he is too proud to learn things to notice here is indicate sentences in present tense so we will use cannot subject is he so we can repeat subject he twice so the answer is he is so proud that he cannot learn in first sentence we have replaced t002 with so that is common in all the sentences subject for him becomes he and could not because sentence is in past tense in second sentence t002 is replaced by so to2 is replaced by that he cannot that is common he is subject and cannot because sentence is in present tense third sentence is different from other sentences although it is in present tense we will not use cannot reason is the question here is in negative so it has to be changed to affirmative other changes are same T002 changes to so that is common in all subjects subject she is she but instead of cannot we have used can in fourth sentence changes are very simple it is in present tense so we have used cannot subject is he other changes are same let us take few sentences where we do not have to remove to but we have to use to our first sentence is these brothers are so quarrelsome that they cannot live together now the changes we will be doing are reverse so will be replaced by t002 that they cannot will be replaced by to2 so the answer here is these brothers are too quarrelsome to live together next sentence he was so late that he could not hear the first speech t002 replaces so that he could not is replaced by to2 and the answer is he was too late to hear the first speech next sentence it is never so late that one cannot learn you will notice one is used in place of subject so it is common for all so answer here is it is never too late to learn let us do one last sentence the news is so good that it cannot be true one important thing to notice here is the news is non living so when second time when we write a subject it is used for the news and the answer for sentence is that news is too good to be true used to transformations which we have done can also come as use infinitive transformation the question and answer remain same we have to use infinitive let us see which infinitives we have used to live to hear to learn to be these are infinitives so in this video we started with remove to but we have used too many transformations used to use infinitive affirmative to negative negative to affirmative in short we have done too much